Good afternoon, Zachariah Jackson, Bassett News. You know, last week, you know, we had a, a very bad flood in uh, Elizabeth, New Jersey, and uh, uh, many people died. Uh, most people, good many of them, are homeless. Is that right? I'm, re I'm here with Reverend Al Bartley, and he's have been instrumental in helping a lot of the people through your church and man. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Well, tell the people about some of the incidents and some of the things that went on during the flood and the, the makeup, the, 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 the putting the lives back together right now. Well, thank you so much, uh, Zach, uh, for allowing me to have this opportunity to speak to you and to those that are uh, watching. Uh, as we know, Ida came in uh, and it was unexpected and it shook us up shook in a big way. Yes. Uh, as you know, uh, in Jersey, all the lives that were lost, mm -hmm. particularly here in Elizabeth, yes. uh, where four or five families are grieving right now yes. uh, mm -hmm. of the loss, and so many properties have been damaged, uh, cars have been damaged, uh, and, and there's a mental illness that's going on right now because people just can't believe this has happened. Yes. And to be, to be in the midst of something like this, and your children experiencing mm. the trauma that they are experiencing. But I really want to thank the city of Elizabeth, the administration, uh, along with the governor, and with the other civil rights leaders and community leaders, and everyone who just really came together to help. As we, as we know, the Red Cross, FEMA, everybody is really on board, the Housing Authority, they're getting the vouchers, I'm told, sure. to the people sure. uh, that they need to get them to, the hotels, uh, are accommodating them, That's wonderful. Uh, and so we're moving forward, but we have such a long way to go, Zach. Oh, wow. So the, the other day we were we were at uh, um, Oak, because I'm not from Elizabeth, I'm from Oakwood Plaza. Oakwood Plaza. Now th those apartments are actually closed down. Closed down. Right. So the river, there's a river in the back of it, and that river water came and flooded all basement apartments, okay. uh, and so the water got so high that the uh, PSE&G had to cut the power off, oh, everything wow. had to be cut off, and so the other apartments probably that are a lot higher, second floor, whatever, wasn't damaged as much, but because of the danger of course, yes. that they had to uh, remove everyone uh, from that Oakwood Plaza. Now, I'm going to ask you this right here because people have been telling me there's actually a river behind you. Now, uh, if you don't know, we're not holding that against you, but what river is that? I have no idea. Is, is it actually a river or is it like a, a I, screen? It, of it, I, have, I, I have not went back over there to see it yet. I had forgot that that river was there. So I'm not... 100% clear on that is it a, a stream, is oh, it right, what? A channel, right, right, right. Because right, right. I, I know Elizabeth has a lot of those right, channels. Right, right. right. I, 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 yeah, I don't because know. people ask, well, what river is it? I right. said, well, it's not the Hudson River. Right. No. So I, I don't know exactly, but it is a body of water yes. that moves through, yes. that accumulated up. Yep. And wow. And wow. just came in the parking lot, because you know the parking lot is in the back area. Okay. I so the water that. came so high, the cars were flooded. And then it just made its way to the majority of the basement apartments. So the basement apartments uh, is what got hit the most. Oh, so that damaged the most. It just was, it was incredible. What were your church and Nan able to do? Because the people talked highly of you when I was there. That they said, you know, uh, and and this was I'm gonna say this for you. This was some of the constituents, but a lot of the clergy. And they wasn't trying to uh, brown nose me or nothing like that, you know, or get a favor in with you. But they said, no, you guys really came through. We said, Nan came through, National Action Network came through for the people that really helped. Well, and I really appreciate that, you know, mm -hmm. but we didn't do it for no publicity. No. We did it because that's what we do. Okay. Uh, and while we were in the midst of helping them, you got to remember now, Haiti also, that devastation was sure, that sure. hurricane. And we're also helping Haiti out right now. Wow. Uh, and so Nan, uh, you know, we got together and said, hey, what do you need? And so one of the requests was some gift cards. And so Nan, you know, got the call, we, we submitted it, and we got approved, and we gave $725 gift cards. 
Okay. So each card was seven hundred twenty five dollars. No, each card was twenty five dollars, but we needed seven hundred of. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, okay. So they came to a, you know, a quite amount. Right. 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 Yes, right. Yes. Yes. But again, that's what we do, mm -hmm. and we also offered uh, to pay for the funeral of those who had lost their loved ones. Oh. Uh, we, we've done that, you know, for, for victims that were killed, you know, sure, police sure. killings, you know. And that's what we do, the National Action Network. You know, Reverend Sharpton, you know, he's out here trying to make a difference. Sure, sure. You know, and we don't need no, we don't need no pat on the back. No, okay. You it's know, work, work of God. That's what we do. That's right, that's right. Work of God. So, okay. we do. so you were able to help and um, you guys have not finished. No. You know, it's, it's a long way. What about getting people back into those departments? So what I'm told is that they're assessing that as we speak, mm -hmm. that they're trying to see, uh, one, is all of the water gone, mm -hmm. two, those that are on second and third floors, uh, can they get the elevator running right. okay. so that they will be able to go up into the apartments and then take a look and see how much damage, if any, uh, and then certain areas, I'm told, in the apartment complex that they might be able to go in. Other areas, they still have to wait. Now, you know, those apartments, now is that considered a project? I, I mean, that's what it used to be, you know. You know, okay. You know, okay. okay. But, 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 are those are, these are recently new buildings. Recently, so. yes. I don't think they're, I don't think they're 10 years old. Wow, okay. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I, I, I think it's too many structures. I said this is like different than the '60s structure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, and I and I mean, you know, people are, you know, making assumptions. Maybe the landlord, whatever. But when I'm told that water came in, yeah, nothing you could do. was nothing you could do. Okay, how you built it? Yeah. That's what I was told. You know. Okay, how you built it? That water, once it starts running like that, you know. I'm I'm gonna make sure next week I go back there and take right. a look at that river. Right. Screen of water, that body of water right there. Wow. Right. Okay. So, is there uh, uh, any way for people to reach out to you guys that, or uh, what would you like to say in terms of uh, the restructure or uh, people send money in to help? How can people give effect, you know, even that's not here if they when they hear this broadcast here? Well, I think that uh, if you go on to the city's website, I'm sure they yeah, have information. To tell you how to send money, mm -hmm. uh, how to send uh, perishable, non-perishables, okay. uh, clothes, sure. uh, diapers, uh, masks, whatever it might be, that you can do that. But we also are taking uh, supplies here at the church, uh, along with the other churches uh, throughout the city. Can of you, you give the name of your church? So, so the name of my church is New Hope Memorial. We're right here. On on the corner of East Jersey and Division. Our phone number here is 908-352-5750. And you can drop off uh, those supplies, whatever you have. Donations, I, we don't take cash donations, uh, but you can reach out to the city uh, and they'll be able to redirect you as to where you can send your funds. All right, and we pray, of course, for the people and the families that was hit, that took, took the loss of their loved ones. So I end this interview just saying to uh, the people out there that, you know, it's one thing to talk about doing something. It's one thing to boast. But my action in Elizabeth, New Jersey, with Reverend Bartley here, has showed, and not just working directly with him, but just uh, talking to the people out there. They really said that Reverend Bartley and the National Action Network stepped up. They were very happy for that, and they didn't have to tell me that. They told me that without even an ax. All I asked, I said, the Reverend probably show up, and they went into it just like that. So they're grateful to you. They're grateful to the church, and of course, you know, grateful to God. Sure. And they're also grateful to the National Action Network and Reverend Al Sharpton. So okay. just if you can pass the word on to the Reverend that God hear you. Do it. You, you're not by yourself, because I know when emotions come in, yeah, yeah. when the devil visits us at night, sometimes we wonder, yes, sir. are we doing what yes, we're supposed to yes, do? Sir. But I'm here to tell you yes, that the people out there are saying that you guys are doing the work. It ain't come from my lips, it came from theirs. Thank you. And had the camera been rolling at that time, 
right? If the camera been rolling at that time, right? I would have had the camera on them. Right. I was setting up, right. and they told me, right. okay? All right. well, we thank God for what you're doing and getting the word out. So many people need to know what's happening, and we thank God for you and your organization doing what we need to get done. I appreciate that. I appreciate that because you know it's always so good to to be patted on the back. Yes, sir. Well, I want to pat it on the back because <laughs> you try. You know, you try. You try. And sometimes oh, that's, you that's needed. That's yes, needed. we all need it. We no, all that's need needed. It. And we are brothers. We're yes. sisters. Yes. We are everything in this fight. Yes. You know and. Uh, we all, we, you know, we all need to be friends. Yes, yes so definitely. We need to be friends. You definitely. Know? I was listening to a, a record yesterday that I listened to when I was a kid. By accident, it came up on my uh, YouTube, the record of, Why Can't We Be Friends? Why Can't We Be Friends? <laughs> You understand me? Or oh, we need to, however that record go. Nah, and I, I'm clear. Yeah, you know, I said, you know what? This is something I think that we all need to come together and put a uh, put a march together behind why can't we be friends? I'm so, with you. Let's do yes, it. Let's do it. All, all right? right? God bless. Again, this is Zachariah Jackson, Bassa News with Reverend Bartley here in uh, Elizabeth, New Jersey. Thank you. God bless. Good day. <laughs>